right, so today I'll be swapping my stock BMW radio for a newer radio, which would be a C33 out of E36. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a couple tools here. T8 to get one of the, uh, to get both these guys out. A little uh, tiny flat screwdriver, and then a larger flat screwdriver for the uh, the back connections. Take this little guy and pop these both open. Then you take your Torx. I believe it's a, actually a, like a five-point hex originally, but these will work in a pinch to loosen both of these so that the radio itself will pop out. You'll feel whenever they get maxed out because it won't be able to turn anymore. You just simply pull the whole radio out as one big unit. There's this big connector and then there are two smaller connectors right there and they just pop off. Originally with this guy, there was a bigger piece that went with it. You pop that out, but that broke. They're kind of notorious for breaking over time. So mine just simply pops out like that. And then these two just come straight out. Let me see if I can do it like this. It just pops. All right, so I got those connectors reconnected. The big one just goes in there. There's only one way it can go. And then the smaller one just connects right there and then the larger one. So then all you have to do is then just slide this guy back into the dashboard. Once you do, make sure it's seated all the way is then you have these both of these popped loose. That can be done the same way as the previous one. And you take your T8 and you start tightening these guys down and it will max out whenever you are done tightening and I'll show you that in a minute. All right, so then you insert these, turning them all the way. We'll move these forward and back. So what it's meant to do is it'll pop out and lock it in. Once it's all the way locked in, it'll be like that. And whenever you're bringing it back, it unlocks it and then this can sit flat. That's the big thing right there. And go ahead and turn on the ignition and then you should get power and it'll ask you for a code. Two, three. Six, two, one. All right, once you have your code in, then you should be able to just get regular stations and everything. This volume knob's a little bit messed up, so I gotta work with it a little bit. But that's all right, you know, could be worse. By the way, one downside to this radio that I've found so far is it doesn't look like you get any response from the uh, OBC, or not the OBC, but the actual readout here whenever you change stations. So that's kind of one thing that I was looking for on this one that the old radio did have. So if you do install a C33, just be aware that's what it's gonna do. All right, 